was wondering we was back today I'm in the Smoky Mountain National Park and we are going out here to the Ombi cabin I'm gonna take you out here to show you this little cabin in the woods it is actually behind Sugarland's Visitor Center out by Gatlinburg in the National Park it's about a mile mile and a half out here to it and back uh, we're gonna go out here and show you this and then we'll give you a little bit of history brief history on it and some notes that I've got wrote down so guys Join us for this adventure, and we'll go have a little fun. Guys, I did want to show you a little thing right here on the trail out to the Ombi cabin. You got this cute little old bridge. There's a lot of these throughout the national park in the mountains on the trails. They've been made out of logs for you to walk across the creeks right now. This creek is dry. It's been a little warm, not a whole lot of rain. Not a bad little bridge. You can, if you don't want to do that, you can come down People have actually made a little walking trail down through the creek area beside of it. So, guys, we're going to go on out here to the Ombi cabin, and I'll show you it, guys. All right, guys, we have come out the trail here behind Sugarland's Visitor Center in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and we are at the Ombi cabin. I'm going to take you right up here to the cabin and show you it, show you the inside of it, give you a little history on it. Guys, this is off left-handed of the trail that you would take to Cataract Falls behind the Sugarlands Visitor Center, just outside of Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Uh, yeah, when you come to the big bridge across the creek back there on the trail, go left-handed. There'll be a weird-looking little old, a big old tree right there at the bridge. That is definitely different. Guys, as you come up to the cabin, there is a little stream here that's actually running. And you've got a little walk bridge like I just took you across a minute ago. Like I said, there's many of these on all the trails in the National Park. Makes it pretty convenient to cross creeks. Uh, yeah, some people hate them, being the Wonder Weasel wife doesn't like them. But guys, this is a on B cabin back here in the woods. So it was very, very cool. Like I said, I'll take you up here, show you inside and outside. You got a lot of old fence rails around the cabin. And we'll go around here. And uh, guys, like I said, I'll go inside it and I'll give you a little history on it. So you know some information about it. Pretty cool little place. It really is. Not too bad of a cabin, size wise. Still pretty good size though for being back in here where it's at. Guys, they normally put a uh, Christmas decorations in this thing in the winter time at Christmas time. The yeah, they decorate the mantle as well. So we're gonna run inside here. It's just like one of the cabins in the mountain. Back here at the Ombi cabin, now we got around here to the front side of it. This is actually a little front porch on it. Most all these cabins had porches on them. Kind of surprised me. It's just one of the things they've always done with them. People did back in the day, which a lot of people still do today. We'll go up inside of it, guys. We are now inside the Ombi cabin. It's a little dark up here today. You got the fireplace, if you can see that inside. All these had old fireplaces in them, guys. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna guess at one point in time they had boards on top of this up in the rafters for more room. I'm not sure if they did, but I'm gonna assume they did. Right now, they've took them out if they did have them. I don't know like I said, if they ever did or not on this cabin. But guys, I will give you a little bit of information right here in just a minute, a history lesson. It's a pretty cool little cabin, guys. Right here, one of the windows, as you can see out. Ooh, the floor's a little weak right there. Mm -hmm. I stepped down right there and the floor just kind of gave just a little bit on me. 
guys then you come through the cabin and right here is the back door of the cabin i'm going to show you the height of this i am five foot two and when i come to the top of the door frame my forehead actually hits right there as you can see my hand is right here you can see how low that is wouldn't be a problem for me but it would be a problem to try to get things in houses today as in furniture and appliances would not be very fun or if you was over five feet tall i'm five foot two so i can just duck a little bit little, little steps coming out of the cabin guys i'm gonna share one little thing with you if you can see the hard top over here you can hear vehicles and stuff over here on the road guys if you are on Little River Road, it goes out to Cage Cove, out behind Sugarland's Visitor Center. When you come out through there on the right, there's going to be a little bit of a loop pull off beside the road. You can actually, you're right here at the cabin from right there. So, you're that close to the highway. You can't even see this cabin from the road. So, that is pretty neat, pretty neat information. So guys, I'm going to sit down here and I'm going to give you a little history lesson. So if you will give me just a minute, I will get right back to you. Actually guys, before I do that, I will tell you another little information right here. When you come up to the cabin, this trail right here comes from Sugarlands, the low trail that comes out from Bind Sugarlands Visitor Center like I just showed you. And when you come up to the cabin, you can actually come up in behind it and go up this little trail which goes up on the side of the hill above which is a loop trail and it will bring you right back down out there in the area where we started at the big bridge on the trail so there is a loop trail you can either go back out you can come in both of them or you can make the loop or you can go back out whichever one you come in if you don't want to make the loop it makes it a little bit quicker so guys, I'm going to give you a little bit of history. Like I said, give me just a moment and I'll get right back with you. All right, guys, I told you I was going to give you just a little bit of history. I don't know a whole lot on the John Ombi cabin, but I do have a little bit that I could find. There's probably a little more out there, deeper to dig. Uh, the John Ombi cabin was built in 1860 and is the last surviving structure from the pre-Great Smoky Mountain National Park community known as Forks of the River. The cabin measures 20 feet by 18 feet. It's constructed of hand honed white pine and poplar logs and split oak shingles all handmade for the roof guys. So guys it's just a little bit of history like I said that there's probably more out there to dig for deeper but that is the John Ombi cabin behind Sugarland's Visitor Center in Gatlinburg that is left-handed off of the Cataract Falls Trail it's roughly a mile out here to it a little bit over a mile each way guys it'd be a really good place in springtime or in the fall if you want to bring you a little lunch uh, there's several little places in Gatlinburg in town that you can get sandwiches and such little picnic lunches that you could pack up Put in a pack and come out here Sit here have you a little lunch. Just enjoy being in nature and being in the woods guys. I Just wanted to share that with you. It's a little hidden gem here As I said the highway is over here beside of us and from the highway You can't see this cabin when you drive by it on Little River Road So guys that is the John B or John Ombi cabin in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park behind Sherland Visitor Center outside of Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Guys, if you like the vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel. And this is Wondering Weasel signing off from John Ombi cabin.